Sawadee Krab and welcome to Thailand News Update. I'm Jet Gunther filling in for Natty. And in today's news, police are still baffled over how the Thai actress drowned in the Chao Priya River. The Department of Mental Health says Thais should cut down on news consumption. And a monk wins the top lottery prize of 18 million baht. All this is coming up in today's news. So police are still baffled over exactly what happened on the night the Thai actress Thang Mo drowned in the Chao Priya River. At this stage, only two people have been charged over the events, the seatboat's owner and the skipper in the evening. Beyond that, police, while not necessarily suspecting foul play, say they are mystified as to the different accounts from the other five witnesses. 37-year-old TV actress Patranida Pashara Wirapong drowned after falling from a speedboat into the Chao Priya River on February the 24th. Yesterday, the police said that each witness was interviewed separately and the stories they told were different. And so they surmised that at least one of them must have been lying. Police also reported that a third suspect may be charged following statements by other witnesses that have contradicted findings by the forensics team. Meanwhile, the lawyer representing Dang Mo's mother has called on the former director general of the Central Institute of Forensic Science to perform a fresh autopsy. Intense interest in the case remains as police continue to provide daily updates with the Thai media. Don't read too much news. At least that's what Thailand's Department of Mental Health is telling Thai people. A spokesperson told the media that the department was concerned with Thais who obsessively monitored the news and social media updates to the point of stress, particularly while major events were occurring. The warning from the department comes at a time when the investigation into the death of the Thai actress known as Dang Mo has dominated headlines in Thai media. A spokesperson from the department says that people who find themselves always trying to be up to date with the news may find it beneficial to shift their attention to other activities in order to calm their thoughts. He also recommended that people conduct self-evaluations to see if news cycles are beginning to impact their daily lives or causing anxiety and sleeping difficulties. He noted that individuals suffering from fear of missing out, also known as FOMO, may have unpredictable moods and anxiety when they are not watching the news or checking their phones. He said that many Thais spend more than six hours every day staring at screens and are addicted to social media. Isn't it time for you to come back to the islands? Phuket is open and it's never looked better. Choose your trip to your favorite island with Five Star Marine. Go to fivestarmarinephuket.com. A wild bull charged at a group of five park rangers patrolling in Thad Mok National Park in Pechabun Province on Sunday, hitting the squadron leader head on. The impact knocked out some of his teeth and injured his face, mouth, and body. The group's team member was also injured. The team made it to Pechabun Hospital by Sunday evening after another team of rangers rescued them. As they were too far away for a helicopter rescue, an ambulance was sent by the National Park Chief and was able to meet them five kilometers away from the rescue point. Wild bull attacks are a real threat to park rangers. In September last year, a forest ranger was killed by a gaur when it attacked him and his squad in the Kaoyai National Park. Commercial flights at Thailand's newest airport in the southern province of Yala are set to take off on March 14th. Thai Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha announced that the first flight to Yala's Betong Airport will depart from Bangkok's Don Mueang Airport next week. The new airport is a part of the government's strategy to strengthen the economy and provide extra stability in the three southern provinces, which have also been the home of a two-decade-long insurgency with Malay militants. No Air will be the airline in charge of the new airport and will fly from Don Muang to Betong on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. The first test chartered plane at Betong Airport landed earlier this year on January 29th. A monk has won the top Thai government lottery prize of 18 million baht and is now giving away the money to locals, other temples and various organizations. 
The monk in the northern province of Nakhon Phanom says he doesn't usually buy lottery tickets as monks should not join in on any kind of gambling, but says he recently bought a ticket to help a local seller who was struggling financially during the pandemic. The 47-year-old monk from Wat Pathat Phanom Waramaha Wihan says he believes that the money he won belongs to others and he did not want to keep it for himself. He decided to share the money with his community. He gave many of the locals in the province around 200 baht each. Reports say more than 1,000 locals visited the temple for money from the monk. So far, he's given away a total of 1.5 million baht to locals in the area. The monk also offered 4 million baht to the temple where he lives, local schools, different state and private organizations in the area. He said he would eventually give all of the money to charities and temples. The monk told Thai media that angels blessed him because he has been taking care of the temple and Pratat Panom for over 10 years. He said he bought three lottery tickets with the number 061905 three days before the bi-monthly lottery draw. The seller had asked him to help buy lottery tickets and the monk says he saw it as another way to help people and make merit. However, another monk wasn't quite as lucky. This monk fell 50 meters down into a cave and was rescued after a 10-hour mission yesterday. Reports say 29-year-old Prathada was descending into the cave when a rope on the ladder snapped, dropping him dozens of meters down to the cave floor. He suffered serious injuries to his hips and legs as a result of the fall. The monk from a temple in the Klongsan district of Bangkok traveled to the secluded cave in Ganjanaburi province to meditate. The local rescue center received a call from villagers saying a monk had fallen into a cave in the mountains and was injured on Saturday afternoon. The monk had earlier asked the villagers to lead him to the cave so that he could sit in meditation. After a 10-hour rescue mission, Prathada emerged from the cave early on Sunday morning. He was then taken to the hospital for medical attention. Villagers say the cave was popular among monks, nuns, and novices looking for a quiet spot to meditate. And that wraps up the morning show for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the latest news in Thailand and the region. Also, check out the videos that just popped up here for more content on the tiger. I am Jet Gunther. Sawadee krab.